Hey guys, what's up? It's Turtle. Welcome back to Ace Combat 5. We are going to continue from where we left off and move on to the, the next mission. But first, uh, I'll have to do it after I load. I'm going to have to go in the options. There's something bugging me about uh, the audio in the game. It's not, it's not quite normal. Like, the speech seems very low compared to the rest of the sound, so I'm going to mess with the settings after I load this. Alright, so now we're going to back out to options. What I'm going to try and do is see how that works. Attention! Listen up! The biggest mistake Yuktabania has made in their blitz attack is that it had failed to sink any of our aircraft carriers. We'll evacuate all intact carriers to our inland sea, then use them as a base to rebuild our counter-strike force. You've been called to service on a very important operation, people. Keep that in mind out there. Today at 1500 hours, three carriers from the 3rd Ocean Naval Fleet will rendezvous at Eglin Straits. These carriers are the Vulture, the Buzzard, and the Kestrel, which has successfully escaped from Port St. Hewlett, thanks to your help. Your mission is to coordinate with the Kestrel and provide top cover for all carriers during the rendezvous. Should you encounter enemy attack, defend the three carriers at all costs. The situation is fluid. So be sure to choose an aircraft with good defensive capability against both air and ground-based threats. Alright, so that comment there made in the briefing is actually pretty important. Um, kinda. What you'll see is we now have a new option. We can buy and sell aircraft. But we can't actually sell any planes because we have to have a certain amount. Um, or I guess we could sell one, but, you know. No, we can't. Um, so yeah. We don't have enough money to really buy anything good right now, so we're gonna wait. And, uh, just go straight into this mission. Captain, so, we're going up in this formation? War Dog, launch. It was nothing. Easiest mission in the world. That's what it was supposed to be. It wasn't just us, but everyone they could get their hands on. General mobilization. Our planes filled the sky like a huge aluminum cloud. There was no way the enemy could attack. The queens of the ocean made it to the inland sea. We've got it made in the shade now. This is Thunderhead. We've arrived outside the range of enemy air attack. Permission granted to return to your assigned bases in sequence. The aircraft may refuel for the return trip if required. Hold above the carrier for the tanker aircraft. Everyone's starting to leave. Can we go yet? Bulldog Squadron, I told you to wait for the tanker plane above the carrier. Nice. Yeah, so we're just going to ignore orders as usual and fly away. Because we got these guys to deal with. So you don't want to spend a lot of time in turning battles in this mission. You gotta keep the speed up. So we're gonna make all of these fights as quick as possible.
This guy won't be able to hit. There we go. Worth trying. That angle's no good. Yep, that's why you want to keep speed up. Kill him. Not yet, anyway. Oh, there they are. Ship. Ten seconds to next impact. 
The enemy attack squadron has withdrawn from the area. The aircraft carriers Vulture and Buzzard were sunk by a powerful burst missile attack. According to hydrophone data analysis, we have determined that the attack was carried out by the Sinfaxi, a Yuktobanian underwater attack carrier. The specs of this ship are unknown, but its existence confirms that the advanced shipbuilding efforts of the Yuktobanians have been going on unabated since the previous war. The Synfaxi is a serious threat to our objectives. Emergency transmission from Central. Our army has decided to deploy the military power of the Arkbird to neutralize the grave threat posed by this new enemy submarine. All right, not a bad run for that mission. Um, let's continue. Of course, we're going to save. We set off for the northern region to refuel. This place is paradise compared to what's further ahead. Beyond our destination lies the closed gate to Nord Belka. Fifteen years ago, the Belkin set off seven nuclear bombs there to stave off the advancing Allied forces, entombing themselves in the frozen valleys to the north. That bit of history should have been enough of a lesson for us all. The seven Belkin cities near the gate were vaporized, and the local area is still highly radioactive. Our landing point was in the state of North Osea, formerly a haven for Belkins, but now entrusted to Osea. If you refer to it by that name, it's not local, though. We'll put a scowl on his face and tell you that this is South Belka. Higher Lark meant a lot to us. Our flight training took place here on this airfield. On the base, we were surrounded by Jeepney cadets, eager to hear war stories. The newspaper article about us, written by that journalist Jeanette, made it here faster than we did. Somewhere along the line, we had become the most experienced pilots in the entire world. Us, Captain Barkin's Nuggets. We were directed to take these inexperienced pilots back with us to Sand Island when we returned. Man, we better thank Pops for this. Why that? These pilots had only a tenuous grasp of flying, much less mid-air refueling, so we had to land at every base along the way. 
can't believe we have to send them off to guard the western coastline. An SSTO craft launch facility lies to the east of our current location, McNeely Air Force Base. The facility was a collaborative project between Osea and Yuktabania. It was built to be a bridge to outer space with a mass driver 7.5 miles in length. Our radar has detected several planes from a Yuktabanian squadron approaching the facility from several directions. The facility is currently conducting pre-launch operations for an SSTO craft. The base commander will provide you with further orders. All right, so the the audio in the cutscene still seems rather unbalanced, and I don't know why that is. The speech comes through much louder on the original PS2 version of this game when you play it on a PS2. So I don't know why. It's almost being totally drowned out by the music in this version of the game, but that's that's how it is, and it doesn't seem like changing the options around is going to affect it that much because it sounds almost exactly the same as how it did before, even though I maxed the voice out and dropped the music a little. So uh, I guess we're just going to roll with this. This is the commander of McNeely Air Force Base. All units, including those refueling at this base, are now under my command. Engage the incoming enemy. All untrained pilots are barred from taking off. Those guys are still kids. Ten minutes to launch. Commencing countdown. I remember this space center well. The mass driver was built by Osea and Yuktabania as part of their collaborative efforts to construct an international space station. Our anti-war president used the surplus funds that came from cutting the defense budget to build it. Is that the Arkbird? The Arkbird. A white bird built as the first step toward the realization of the space station project. Now it's left its orbit and is just low enough to graze the atmosphere. It's coming down to pick up the laser cannon they're about to launch. They were building a bridge of peace that would span into outer space. Not anymore. The machinery meant for this peaceful mission was about to be used for our counterattack. Hey, listen. Yes? Isn't that thing supposed to work like a satellite? Why'd it climb down all this way? It's a maneuverable orbiting spacecraft. I know that. I'm just saying, if the system uses atmospheric friction to change its orbit, then wouldn't that make it pretty hard to defend itself? Hmm. I guess it'd be in trouble if someone started firing at it right now. Yeah. So shouldn't it be higher up then? Continue countdown. Three minutes to launch. Halt the countdown. Enemy incoming. All right. Here we go. Man. So I have to dodge this missile, kill the plane, boom. Now I have to go for the other transport. They want us to focus on the tanks. We don't want to let those transports leave alive. I didn't have to double tap that last one, but I, I did anyway. Alright, that'll work. Okay, there's two more. The captain shot down the enemy. They're holding the countdown after all this? All that hard work. Just down the train. They're targeting us. Come on, get out of here. I uh, I'm not gonna get them in time. Alright, we're gonna move on.
One bomb for you. One bomb for you. Just one bomb for every tank. Every tank gets a bomb. Except this one. This one gets a, a bullet. Now we have more transports. Can I get this one from the front, please? No. Okay. Nope. This is Archer. Understood. We don't want to lose our formation balance. I'll try a little more time to convince the higher ups to launch. Fox 2! Missile hit. There's sometimes your wingmen need a little convincing to follow orders. Alright, there's gonna be another transport. Is that a transport over there? Probably. I should kill it. Yep. That's fine. We don't care about the tanks breaking through the pillboxes. Alright, while I'm all away. More transports are coming. Another transport over here. No, he's he's moved down. Why can't I find it? There it is. He's coming head on. I'm not going to hit it. So we're going to turn around this way. Alright, so that's northeast. Alright, so he's getting awfully close, so we're just gonna bomb him. And I turned the wrong way. Alright, tries this way. Oh, that's good enough. Alright. Gonna make a considerable amount of lead fire on these missiles. And that's, that's no good. Well, can't do anything about that. Everyone kill the bombers. Now, from a distance, they fly slow enough, it's almost like they're hovering. But when you get close, you can't really do much. Alright, but we need to get at least one of the other bombers. I'm gonna climb and try and get into less dense air. Because we're, we're not... Yeah, we're not going to make it to those. Alright, now we're going to drop down here, go over to the missile, see if we can try and stop it head on. Good, good, good. Next. Good. We're going to ignore the other missiles that are coming. Alright, I can't... Okay, good, good, good. Wingmen are doing their job. Alright, now attack this guy. Right, this bomb... Bomber's gonna start going evasive.
I guess uh, yeah, these bombers aren't putting up much of a fight. On a higher difficulty level, they'll uh, though it's it's much more difficult. All right, so I'm climbing here to pick up speed by climbing into less dense air. And then I'm going to drop down, and hopefully I can uh, hit this missile. I probably should have answered no to that question, just so that you would have the answer. But uh, yeah, it's supposed to be like a bridge of peace spanning into outer space. If you hadn't already figured that out from uh, the cutscene before the mission. Alright, so... We're gonna go after this bomber now. Edge, what are you doing? What are you doing over there? All right. Third bomber. We're gonna fly to the post, get behind it. There it goes. That's what I was talking about. All these countermeasures. Everyone attack it, please. Okay, now cover me. Awesome. Alright, so we have missiles coming out this way. This bomber, this last bomber here. And um, I'm gonna wait until I'm actually within a range before ordering my women to attack. There it goes. It did that weird hovering thing, and now all of a sudden it's like, okay, well, now that I'm in range, it's gonna evade. Ah, oh, that's nice. I ran out. Please kill it. There we go. Cool. Thanks, guys. All right. So yeah, that's, that's exactly what I was talking about with the, with the limited ammo. All right. We're gonna climb up nose twenty. Ish. We get a little more speed above ten thousand feet, and then even more above twenty-three thousand. So we're close to the end of this mission. It shouldn't have taken too many hits yet. But now that we're dropping at high speed, at a high descent rates, we can keep the speed up real high. Mass driver hit by cruise missile. And that's the mission. Now you can still dogfight with these planes. Sometimes they'll try to shoot at you still. Sometimes they won't. But you can still kill them if you can hit them. It's hard without any uh, gun reticle. Observation room reporting. The SSTO is climbing smoothly. Congratulations. 
There we go. Still seems to add to my score though. But then I can't see any other planes around. I know there's two more. But that's okay. Very hard to S rank this mission in the first playthrough, so uh hopefully I did well. The white bird rose up once again. Laser cannon in its wings. It was a moving sight. In my heart though, I wished it didn't have to be used in war. None of them found out why the enemy targeted the base until much later. Of course, by that time, it was too late. We prevented the Yuktobanian army from capturing the launch facility. The SSTO launch was successful. The SSTO docked with the Arkbird, which had descended into the upper atmosphere, and successfully transferred a laser weapon module over to the craft. All aircraft with the 108th Tactical Fighter Squadron and the Sand Island Detachment return to base as soon as rearming and refueling operations are complete. All right, so there it is. There is the S rank. So, um, great. We can move on. Or actually, um, or, or not move on. Um, because that's kind of all I have for this video. Obviously, if there's a cutscene after this uh, debriefing, we're going to watch that first. So, don't click off yet. Alright. So, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time. Goodbye.